Okay, now we study the smooth convergence of the flow. And for that, we need to prove uniform regularity estimate. And this would be guaranteed by the uniform two, uniform two side bound on the principal culture. Uh, because we already showed the upper bound on EK, so it is enough to prove the uniform lower bound on the principal culture. Uh, in the second part of my talk, uh, we already derived a time-dependent lower bound on the kappa i by applying the tensor maximum principle to the evolution of the tensor tau i gain. And, and we observed that um, if, the, if this coefficient is bounded from below uh, by a constant C, C1, then we can refine the argument uh, there and uh, and uh, uh, and obtained that the time derivative of the maximum and tau is bounded from above by a constant c and minus a constant constant c times tau. So from this we can apply the maximum principle to show that tau tau i are bounded from above. So this would imply that tau i is bounded from above by a constant c, and equivalently. And the principal curvature is bounded from below by a constant. And so the case so the case step is to uh, show the uniform lower bound on the EK. So in the following way, we will show how to uh, derive the uniform lower bound on the EK. Uh, we first recall the idea used in my previous work. Uh, they call that uh, the work by McCoy for alpha is 1, that is, for the one form genus flow. Uh, the idea is to obtain the curvature pinching estimate, that is, how we can compare the different principal curvature. Uh, for alpha positive and for k is 1, then the story observed that the evolution of the mean curvature can be written uh, locally as a porous medium type equation. Then the holder estimate by the Benedetto and Friedman would be used to estimate the mean curvature. And here, this is the evolution of mean curvature. Uh, now, in our case, uh, we, need, we need some new idea. Um, we first use the monotonicity of the isoparametric ratio IK and uh, the curvature measure theory and the Alexander reflection argument to show that MT converges to a round sphere in half substance. And this is this is a case step. Mm. And uh, if we already have the host of convergence, then for a sufficiently large time t, MT uh, will be host of close to a round sphere. So in this case we can we can again, we can adapt a technique of smoothing uh, as in McCoy's work to prove the lower bound on the speed e k. And then, as we just mentioned, we can in, if we have the lower bound on e k, we can apply the tensor maximum principle to show the bound on the principal curvatures, and then MT converges to smooth to a sphere smoothly. And so, in the following, we will show how to. Uh, how to show the how stop convergence of the surface to a round sphere. Uh, we, so we, here we first uh, estimate the, uh, the EK. Uh, we will show that the oscillation of the EK decays to zero uh, in the integral sense. Uh, we can find a sequence of times Ti that goes to infinity uh, such that the integration over MTI of the square of EK minus EK bar uh, decays to zero. Uh, here we denote EK bar as the average integral of the EK over the surface MTI. And this estimate is a consequence of the monotonicity of VK and the long time existence. Uh, because VK is decreasing in time and in time and uh, so we can estimate the difference of Vk of omega 0 and Vk of omega t uh, by this integration. And finally, we can get this is equal to this integration. And this is uh, non-positive. Uh, 
non-negative. And the left hand side is bounded from above, above by the constant Vk of omega zero. Uh, because we already have the long time existence, so we can let uh, the capital T go to infinity and see that the see that uh, uh, this fun function, uh, if we denote by ft, uh, this is uh, L1. And so we can um, so we can find a sequence of times ti and goes to infinity such that uh, such that uh, this fun this function and goes to infinity, goes to zero uh, for this sequence of times dm. And uh, this estimate will uh, be equivalent to this estimate. Okay, uh, then um, we need to prove, um, and prove the convergence of the surface from this estimate. Uh, for that, we first recall the classic Alexandrov theory. Suppose the surf suppose the surface is uh, an embedded smooth closed hypersurface in the Euclidean space with the constant case-mean curvature, uh, that is, E k is a constant uh, for some k. Then the conclusion is that M is is a round sphere. And so if we know that our surface Mt converges smoothly to a limit have a surface M infinity, then the previous estimate, this estimate, uh, will imply that uh, will imply that the Ek must be constant on the limit have a surface. Then the above Alexandrov theorem uh, implies that the limit have a surface uh, is a round sphere. And however, we do not know the smooth convergence because this is our goal. Uh, so for that, we need to employ the curvature measure theory for convex bodies and a long smooth version, a long smooth version of the Alexandrov theory. Now we recall the uh, definition of the curvature measure theory and uh, the theorem uh, by standards. And given a convex body omega, which may not be necessarily smooth, and the rho positive and any borrowed state beta, borrowed state beta uh, we have the fully local standard formula. And the, the measure of the local parallel state a rho omega beta can be expressed as a poly polynomial of, of rho with the coefficient ck. And we denote ck as the coupled measure. Applied to the, applied to the borrowed set, set beta. And here, uh, the local parallel set area omega beta is defined as the set of the points uh, which has a distance to omega smaller than rho. And uh, the, pro the nearest uh, pro uh, point projection belongs to the intersection of beta uh, and the boundary. And let's draw a picture. Uh, if this is uh, omega, and this is a borrowed state beta, then area of omega beta uh, is a set of the points like this. Uh, if this is a parallel set which has a distance to omega smaller than rho, then uh, then the local parallel set is this point, this set. Yeah, this is a uh, omega beta. So we can we can express the volume of area omega beta as a polynomial of rho, and we call uh, its coefficient c k as the curvature measures. And a special one is for k is one, and we have c one omega beta is just the the measure of the uh, intersection of beta with the boundary omega, omega. And moreover, if the bound if we know the boundary is smooth uh, with the principal curvature as compound, then we can we can express the curvature measure as, as the uh, integral integral of the e k minus one and uh, over the intersection of beta and the boundary. And now we now we um, recall the standard theorem uh, for k for 
k for integer k from two to m. Uh, if omega is a convex body uh, satisfying the uh, c k omega beta uh, equal to a constant times c one omega beta uh, for any Borel set beta uh, and uh, some constant c, then omega must be a Euclidean form. Uh, here we uh, we observed that if the boundary is smooth, then then the, this identity this identity will imply that um, e k minus one is a constant if the boundary is of class C two. Then by an example of theorem, uh, omega must be a round form. So the so the theory in best nature is a non-smooth version of the Alexandra theory because we do not need uh, the boundary of omega uh, is a smooth. We also need uh, the plus k selection theory in convex geometry. Uh, it see that uh, every bounded sequence of convex body. Uh, has a subsequence that converges to a convex body. In our case, the diameter of omega t is bounded from above, and the inner radius is bounded from below. So, the our domain omega t are, are, bond, are bounded, uh, are bounded, uh, and bounded convex bodies. And so, uh, we apply the uh, plastic case in exchange theorem and conclude that there exists a subsequence of t i was still denoted by T S such that omega T I uh, convergence in house of sense to a limit convex body, omega infinity. So in summary, we have a sequence of T I and uh, goes to infinity such that omega T I convergence to a limit uh, omega infinity. Uh, this convergence in house of sense. In house of sense. And the oscillation of EK satisfies, satisfies this estimate. And on the other, on the other hand, we, uh, we have the basic property as uh, the core mass integral is the continuous with respect to the host of distance. So from this convergence of omega Ti to omega infinity, we have that EK bar, uh, EK bar converges to a constant C. Uh, as Ti goes to infinity. Okay, now we have this is, is our property we have obtained. Now we get the host of convergence to a ball. Um, the the curvature measures are weak weak continuous. Uh, this is a basic property for curvature measures. Uh, for any bounded, this means that for any bounded continuous func function f. Uh, we have this convergence as the integral of f uh, with respect to the curvature measures of omega t i convergence to the integral of f with respect to the curvature um, measure of omega infinity. Uh, from this, we can get the following estimate. Um, the, the difference of the this integral and this integral uh, can be written as this integration uh, because each omega ti uh, are smooth. This is because um, omega ti is smooth uh, for ti. Uh, so and uh, so this different and then this difference uh, uh, is bounded from above by the strip of f because f is bounded and uh, times the int integral of uh, e k minus c over m t m, and this is again again bounded from above by uh by the difference of e k minus e k bar plus the e k bar minus c. The right hand side uh, converges to zero because because this uh inter this converges to zero, and the integration of this also converges to zero. And F is bounded, so the right hand side converges to zero as T i goes to infinity. And the, for the left hand side, uh, if T i goes to infinity, uh, we can get this estimate convergence to uh, convert this convergence to 
left turn at the infinity. So we conclude that the limit have the limit have surface uh, and the limit uh, limit uh, convex body omega infinity satisfy this identity uh, for any borrowed set beta and uh, for the constant c. Then we we can apply the Snedder's theorem to conclude that the limit uh, convex body omega infinity is a round form. Uh, and this means that we can find a subsequence of times ti such that omega ti converges in host to the uh, to the round point. Uh, to get the convergence for all time, uh, we can apply, uh, we, uh, we can ap apply the uh, monotonicity of i k uh, because i k is decreasing in time. So uh, we can get the limit for all time go goes to infinity of i k omega t uh, must uh, be equal to the i k applied to the ball. And then we can apply the net stability of the Alexandra Fincher in quantity to conclude that uh, for all time goes to infinity and uh, omega t convergence in hostile sense to, to a round ball. Uh, and the ball. Uh, is centered for some point pt, and the center may depend on time. And so, uh, to show the host of host of convergence to to a ball with with a fixed center, we need to estimate the uh, the center of the ball pt. This can be obtained by using the Alexander reflection argument. Uh, we recall the following result by Benchol and Gonevier. Uh, for each point Z uh, and uh, lambda belongs to R, we define a reflection Rz lambda uh, by, by this. Uh, for any point X, Rz lambda X is defined as X minus uh, this term times Z, uh, which reflect uh, uh, in the hyperplane XZ. Uh, X product is equal to lambda. Let's draw a picture here. And this is the direction in Z. Uh, and this is uh, this is Rm plus minus one. And this is the theta, the plane. Mm, this is the plane. Mm, X dot z equal to lambda. So the reflection is the reflection is a reflection across the this hyperplane. Uh, we define this function lambda plus z t uh, such that uh, um, as the infimum of the lambda such that uh, uh, the reflection of omega t uh, intersect with the the, the, the right hand um, part uh, belongs to omega t. And the theory improved by Ben Chou and the Gunevere uh, see that um, lambda plus zt is now increasing in time uh, for each direction z. And moreover, if we, uh, because we already showed that uh, uh, omega t is a half stop close to a ball, uh, a ball of, of radius r for some center bt, so the half stop distance is smaller than some constant epsilon. Um, and from this, we can uh, we can get that uh, lambda z lambda plus z t will be smaller than the center p t product with z plus some small constants. Mm. And this would be used to imply that uh, p t uh, converges to a point p as time to time t goes to infinity. Um, so from this we. Uh, from this, we can conclude that conclude that along the flow, the enclosing domain omega t converges to a ball of radius r centered at some point p uh, as time goes to infinity. So this concludes the uh, proof of the host of convergence. And I think I need to uh, stop see more words about how to uh, 
uh, how to conclude the convergence of PT uh, to the point P uh, by using the monotonicity of lambda plus and this estimate. We can give, a, we can um, provide a quick proof for this, uh, for this step. Okay, we can give a proof uh, of this. Uh, because um, because lambda plus z is bounded from above by p t. Okay, so product with z plus a constant, and we can also de define the opposite direction lambda minus z p as the minus uh, lambda plus minus z t and so this is is monotone increasing this is increasing in time t and from this we can get we can get lambda minus z t will be bounded from below by a p t product with z minus the constant okay so um so we can from this we can get that uh, for any point any time t one greater than t two, uh, we can have um, t t two a product with z minus the constant is smaller than lambda z of z t two because lambda uh, minus is increasing so this is Bounded from above by lambda z of z t one, and the lambda z minus is smaller than uh, lambda plus z t one, and the lambda plus is uh, decreasing, so this is bounded from above by lambda z of z t two, and again bounded from above by p t to product with z plus the constant. And so from this estimate, we get that we get that the difference the difference of um, uh, p t two product with z minus with lambda plus and minus of z t one is bounded from above by a small constant. So for each fixed uh, uh, t two uh, lambda. Uh, Plus and the lambda minus is a Cauchy sequence, so it converges. And so from this, we conclude that um, uh, PT2 is, also, is again converges to a lambda. That is for uh, fixed T2 and the lambda ZT1 uh, is a Cauchy sequence. So it, uh, so it converges to some constant lambda. And this would imply that. Uh, uh, P T two product with Z converges to some constant as T two goes to infinity because Z is arbitrary, and so this would imply that uh, uh, P T converges to some point P as T goes to infinity. And yeah, so this is just uh, an elementary uh, argument from the from the monotonicity of lambda z and this estimate. So, okay, so in summary, we obtain the host of convergence to around the sphere of the, of the evolving domain omega t. Mm. The remaining part is to improve the host of convergence to the smooth convergence. And this argument is standard uh, because, uh, because we already mentioned that the case is to uh, derive the lower bound on e k. And in our case, we already proved the, the host of convergence. So for for a large time t, mt is a, is a host of close to a round sphere. Then we can adapt uh, adapt the estimate of smoothing as in a quiz the work to derive the lower bound on the ek. And once we have the lower bound on ek, we can apply the tensor maximum principle to a, to the evolution of the tensor tau ig to derive the estimate on the principal curvature kappa i. 
and then higher you can earn, you can earn it, you can be approved um, and the smooth convergence of the flow uh, could be approved. And we remark that the smoothing idea has also uh, been previously used by uh, by Andrews and McCoy in the contracting capture plots. Okay, okay. Now this uh, complete the complete the proof of the main theorem. And for any positive alpha and for all k from one to m, the volume preserving flow by powers of the casement curvature. Uh, it and exists for all time and uh, convergence to around square in the smooth sense. And uh, finally, we give some remark, uh, generalization and remarks. The first generalization is uh, we can generalize the, the flow to non-homogeneous speed function. That is, we can we can replace the powers of E k by by a non-homogeneous function of E k, and the functions mu uh, set here satisfy some uh, algebraic condition that uh, step which we stated here. Mu uh, is smooth and uh, increasing. And the limit of mu as z goes to zero is zero, and um, and mu z goes to infinity. And we also need to uh, need that mu satisfy this uh, convexity or something, and uh, some some further or something on the limit. Once uh, once mu satisfy this condition, we can prove we can. Also proved that the volume preserving flow by this non-homogeneous flow uh, um, also exists for all time and uh, converges to a sphere. Uh, some special example for this function view include the linear, linear combination of the powers and also the log logarithmic function and also the exponential function. And this theorem was proved by Bertini and the same story for all call k is one and by, by myself with the engines for all k from one to m. Another generalization is the isotropic curvature flow. And, and this was recent this was proved recently by uh, a joint work with the Bernangius, uh Lei Yi Tao and Chang Wen Xiong. And uh, we first uh, developed the theory of the anisotropic capture measure theory, and uh, proved uh, and uh, proved a theory which is similar with the Snyder theory. And this was applied to uh, study the volume preserving capture flow in the Euclidean space by anisotropic captures. And here we can uh, provide um, a short introduction for for the anisotropic geometry. Uh, if W is a smooth uniformly convex body uh, in R plus one, then there exists an associated anisotropic differential geometry defined by W. Uh, because for any smooth oriented hypersurface, uh, we can have a map uh, W, which maps a point on the hypersurface M to, to a point of um, to the point on the W, which takes each point X to the point in W with the same oriented tangent plane. And then we can define the anisotropic curvature is the de derivative of this map W, uh, which is uh, operated from the tangent space on T at the point X to the tangent space of W at the point W, X. And uh, by assumption, this by the definition of new W, this is equivalent to the tangent space of Tx of the M at the point X. And so this is a linear map from the from Txm to itself. And we and it, it, it is also self-adjoint. Then we can define the anisotropic principle capture and the eigenvalues of this operator. And then we can obtain uh, we can study the volume preserving flow by, uh, by, um, by functions uh, involving the anisotropic principal curvatures. Um, we, remark, we remark that if this convex body W uh, is a round sphere, this 
reduce it to the isotropic geometry, that is the Euclidean differential geometry. And some remark, um, our flow is, um, uh, is a flow in the Euclidean space. And um, we can also ask uh, the same question for the, um, the flow in the hyperbolic space and in the sphere. In the hyperbolic space, there are, there are many works. Uh, the first one is by Kabras, Weavers, and uh, Mikkel in 2007, and uh, later by Markowski and uh, Guo Fang Wang and uh, Chao Xiang in 2014, and recently by Botini and uh, Pipoli, and, uh, and most of my joint work with Ben Angels and uh, Chen Xu Zhong. And we studied the long time existence and the convergence results and applied them to uh, to establish some Alexandra feature inequality in the hyperbolic space. In the sphere case, it is more difficult because uh, if the initial if initial hypersurface is convex, uh, which may become non-convex along the volume preserving flow. So this is more difficult in, in the sphere case. Uh, and we also, we also need to note that uh, our flow is uh, our flow is this uh, pi, pi t minus the power of e k. Uh, if we consider the quotient, the powers of the quotient of e k over e r for l greater than one, and uh, and there may exist some counter example to show that uh, even if the initial hypersurface is uniformly convex then along the flow, uh, the surface may become non-smooth uh, before this before this shrink to a point. And the idea may, uh, may be the same as, uh, as the one for the contacting curvature flow uh, by Ben Andrews, Makoya, and Zheng Yu. OK, I think that is the end of my talks. OK, thank you very much for your attention.